Hi, welcome back to another web development video uh, where I'll show you how to create modern websites using HTML5, uh, CSS3, and a little bit of JavaScript. And in this tutorial seri series, we're learning about uh, how to build a website using a tool called Webflow. And you can find it at webflow.com. And so far, this is what we have. Um, Webflow allows us to visually write code as opposed to uh, typing it out. Uh, so you're using a lot of the same techniques and the same sort of ideas. Uh, you're just visually making changes in this uh, really familiar UI, uh, something like you would see with Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, we're following this template here, um, and we're just kind of making our way down the page using this as a general guide. Um, and recreating the sections with our own content. We're going to get down to uh, this part here that says Our Attorneys. And we're building our law firm website here. <clears throat> and we've just created the testimonials in the previous video. If you missed the previous videos, just go back and, and watch them in the series. Um, the first one is an introduction to Webflow and just kind of what it's about. The second uh, starts the actual tutorial series. And so what we need to do is we need to create a new section. Uh, I find <coughs> in the navigator one of the best ways to do that is to just click on body and come over here and click on add a section and it just adds a new section to our body. Um, this one's going to be called team and we'll give that an actual section. You can use HTML5 uh, semantic tags here uh, to make your code more semantic and better. Uh, let's go ahead and give it the class of team. And then uh, what we want to do down here, not sure why we're getting all this padding. So let's remove these styles. I think that might have been from a, a previous iteration of this video. Uh, anyway, so we have our, our team section here, and if we look here, we have um, a heading, and then we have the person's name, uh, their position in, as an attorney, and then we have an image. Uh, I've already prepared the images. I've actually prepared all of our team members uh, as a collection. So I have it under attorneys, and you can see here that's uh, Malia Jones, and she has an image, John Barker, and Kyle Livingston. So I've already prepared these images to be square uh, like you would see here where they're already a square image. Uh, I just did that in a, a image editing program and we just need to build out the space where these where these things live. So if you see up here we have what's called a, an inner div and so let's go ahead and create that down here too. Uh, we can come down and click on a div block and just drag that in and we're going to call that team enter and we're going to give that a uh, max width of 1200 that sounds right and um, it'll already be centered here I have some of these uh, classes done because I did this video once before so team enter is already set and then I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to copy and paste this section heading so just control C and then we come click inside of our team inner do control V and then that should be in there let's give it uh, h3 section heading that's a fine uh, that's a fine title and it's going to be called our attorneys and then the next section is going to be our, our actual, um, our, what do you call them, collection list, I think is what we need to put. So let's click on our collection list and we'll drag that in underneath our attorneys into the team intersection. And then we need to connect it to the right collection. Uh, the attorneys is the collection that we want to connect it to and um, we want to do three across let's go ahead and set that up so you can see here that we have 
uh, our attorneys. Uh, we actually have too many attorneys. Let's go ahead and get rid of a few of these. So if we want to delete multiple items, you can click on the select box here and then it gives you these selections. And you can just select the ones you don't want and then click delete. And you make sure that you're deleting them permanently. And now we're left with the three uh, attorneys that we really want. So we can see them here. And we need to create the layout for each of these uh, collection items. So what we want is the person's name, and then we want their title, and then we want their image. So we can create that here by just saying, uh, dropping a heading into the first one. <clears> okay, <throat> and then we're going to connect it to the attorney name. So now we get each of their names, and we need to also get their position. So we'll use a simple text block for that. We'll drop it underneath the name. And maybe we can create a little space down here. Sorry, sometimes this uh, it doesn't do a very good job of giving me more space down at the bottom so I'm just gonna add a section down at the bottom to try to give us a little bit of breathing room here um, so we connect this text block to the dynamic information called attorney position and then it should pull up their uh, position inside the company here and then the last thing that we want is the attorney image and so we just come and grab our image and then put it underneath uh, the attorney title and then we're going to connect the image to the attorney image alright so there you go so we have our uh, attorneys laid out uh, the nice and square uh, I've done that in um, I've done that in like I said a photo editing program so it's not a difficult thing just choose just crop it you know crop an image um, let's go ahead and style these and I figured out um, how to go ahead and, and create um, how to set a what do you call it, a font for the entire um, the entire document <laughs> you go to body and then uh, you go down to your fonts and you can set a font for your body it's like setting a font for your body so I'm gonna set uh, Montserrat which is what we've been doing for everything that way when we come down and we add text in that, it, that we don't have to do that on an individual basis anymore uh, so what we want to do is control the styling here. We don't want bold. We want something like um, maybe a normal. So just a 400. And quite a bit smaller. Let's say 24. And 24. And then uh, these are a good size. Maybe 16 instead. and then our image I want to uh, create a little bit of margin there on the top between the images and the and the text let's see and last I want to try to deal with getting some space with this collection list wrapper so collection list wrapper is the thing that wraps the entire collection list so let's just add some margin to the top of that as well what did you uh, it's like 48 let's do that typically uh, we are working on the web in uh, by default you're working in 16 pixel increments so anytime you're using things you just kinda have to start multiplying by 16 so 16 times 3 this will be like 3 rem 
of uh, spacing uh, which is 48 pixels so you just gotta you can either think in pixels or you can think in rem uh, but either way you gotta kinda learn how to convert those things and let's put some some padding uh, with our team and I'm just gonna do padding on the top and bottom so let's do 64 and that looks pretty good. I think that's about what we had up here. No, we had 80 up here. So let's go ahead and create 80 down here. Oh, let's go back the other way. You could also set these uh, values numerically, but let's go ahead and set 80 there. So now we have our uh, our attorneys. Let's make this image a little bit farther. Let's go ahead to 32 and see. That'd be like two rem of spacing there. That feels a little bit better. And maybe this one. Let's add. Uh, full 16. Okay. That's maybe too much. Let's pull it back down to eight. That would be like half. Uh, 0.5 rem. So that feels a lot better. Um, and these are our attorneys. We could even pull our attorneys uh, down a little bit. So we're saying 48 here, but we could actually create, you know, 64, and then probably feel feel okay. All right. So these are our attorneys. Okay. And there's no um, there's no links here or anything. One thing that happens when you create a collection is that you also wind up with the collection. Where is it? The pages. You wind up with a collection page. Now what this is is say you are creating blog posts. Um, when you click on, let's say, an image, the featured image or something for a list in a list of blog uh, posts, and then it goes to the actual blog content. Uh, each of these collection templates serves as um, like if you wanted more information or a full bio for this guy you would click on his image or his name and then it would take you to a page where you can then create a full bio so it essentially just creates uh, one page for each of these like a templated page um, just like you would create uh, a blog post page and then have a collect a list of blog posts too so it, it gives you that option. You don't have to take it. Uh, if there's no link to any of these pages, then it doesn't set them up uh, for you. And these are, they're just blank pages that you have to go through and style, but each page for each attorney would look the same. It would be pulling in the same information. Uh, so that's an interesting uh, part of the collections process. We are not, um, we're not actively using that as part of our layout. Uh, for this particular page. This is not something that's here on this one pager, so not something that we're doing. Alright, that is um, creating the team section. So we're getting pretty close. Uh, these are our attorneys and you can see that we have a contact section and we have a blog section. And so for our blog section we will uh, recreate what I was just talking about. And then we have a footer. So those will be the next few videos going forward. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, I'll be happy to get to them as best I can. And again, you can find uh, Webflow at webflow.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.